Go ahead and start this series with a session that I'll call What Are Brushes? Brushes are a very powerful design tool in Corel Draw. There's brushes in Photo Paint, but those are raster, and then there's brushes in Corel Draw that you can work with to do your design work and expedite your design workflow. These brushes, in my opinion, are some of the most powerful tools in the application, but I've never seen any training or products for the brushes in Corel Draw while well, I've been using them for a number of years. Finally, a few months ago, I started working on a brush pack, and I've now got a brush pack together with over 400 brushes in it. What you see here on the screen set up is basically a wing design element, but everything in this element is set up as a brush. Now, most people default brushes, they think inky looks and watery looks and watercolor looks and paint looks, but really, working with brushes in Corel Draw empowers you to do a number of different things that I've never seen anybody do before. But I've put together this pack and this training to help you be able to design what's popular today as we see the affliction looks, the MMA looks, and all of these different elements of urban look and distressed grunge look and medieval look and wings and all this fashion stuff that's going on. Be able to design these types of looks and t-shirts very quickly and very effectively with all the effects and elements that are going on in them. The best way I've found to do that is with brushes. Now let's take a look at what brushes are. I want to first start out here and we'll just look at the artistic media tool in your toolbar. If you go down four icons here, click on the little arrow in the right hand corner down there at the bottom and go to artistic media that'll bring the artistic media properties bar up and you'll have your brushes. Now, this particular wing, everything in here is brushes. And this particular element here is what we call beveled shapes. And I've got beveled shapes in the brush pack. The brush pack is over 400 brushes that's available on the site. Now, if I double click on this with my pick tool, because it's a brush, I'll see a wireframe, a blue wireframe there. And that has nodes and lines to it. It's very similar to a vector object. And you'll notice that if I move it, I can change the shape of that and change the shape of my design. So what brushes do is that as long as I work within the constraints or within the limitations of brushes, which we'll cover in the training, I can create off-the-wall designs, save those, to go back and change those and tweak those out. For instance, this feather, even though it's a brush, I can go to my brushes and I could go to, say, my feathers, which you've got a huge feather and wing pack, into my hand-drawn here, select OK. And let's say I want to change this wing to a hand-drawn wing. I could go through and select all the feathers, come down here into my hand-drawn wings, select perhaps something like that, and now I've changed my design from a feather that has the metallic shape look to it, something that's been welded to something that looks more like it's been hand-drawn with an actual feather built into it. And then this feather also has, because it's a brush, I can change its size. If I come up here into my properties bar and change that, it'll make my feather skinnier or smaller. As you can see there, and I can get a lot of control and tweak what's going on with that. Now throughout this training series, we're going to get into a number of different things with brushes, but brushes are really nothing more than graphic objects in Corel Draw attached to lines and nodes. What do I mean by that? Well, Let's create a Bezier line here just to start out. I'll go ahead and create a line. Just I'll create three nodes. Left click one, two, three times. Now what we have in Draw here is three nodes and two lines, or a line segment or a vector line in Corel Draw. Brushes are nothing more than graphics attached to your lines in Corel Draw. Now if you need training on how to work with nodes and lines and things like that, We've got that on the site, or you can get that in the powertrain. We're not going to get into that here, but whatever I can do with this shape, once I attach a brush to it, I'll be able to change and customize that brush or the graphic or objects that are attached to this vector wire in Corel Draw. Now, I've got this set up as a straight line, and what I'll do is I'll take this. I'm going to go ahead and delete this node here. I'll just double-click that and delete I'm going to take this straight line here, and I'll just go ahead, right-click, and we'll change that to a straight line. And what I'll do is I'll go to my artistic media docker and I'll go to the last feather that I worked with, with this line selected, and I'll just left click that one time. And that applied that feather object to that vector line that I had. Now, if I go to my pick tool, I can double click on this and I'll see my node and line reappear. But now it's a brush and it has vector object attached to it in Corel Draw works very much the same way as vector lines and draw. If I right click here I can go and convert that to a curve. 
and then I can change the shape of that feather to make it look something more like what I want it to look like. I could double click here or right click and select add a node and change the shape of the line segment here from this node out and I'll change the shape of my brush. I can left click over here and bring this node down and you see you got the same control on here. Now every once in a while the brushes choke but all you need to do really is just make a little bit of an adjustment and I'll do that and my brush will come back. So there's some constraints, some issues you need to be aware of when you're working with these but yet the power that you have to create custom elements, custom design effects with these brushes is incredible. And for instance I can take this hand drawn wing and start to draw a wing in a matter of seconds or I can take some paint strokes and add some paint effects to a design. So if I go back here to my artistic media tool and I start to just draw the shape of a wing you can see that I'll start to create a wing design here. Now I'm working with my mouse but I can just start to draw these feathers out and then I can go back in with my pick tool and tweak these. Just double click and I'll get my node tool my shape tool here and I can go in and change these nodes and address this. Or if I don't feel like I want to draw with the mouse or a pen tablet, I could simply go to, say, my Bezier tool or my pen tool and just start creating arched lines. I'm going to hit my space bar here and I'll hit that again. Create another line here that's arched, a little bit smaller. Hit my space again and do the same here. Hit my space again. And what I'm creating now is basically just a little wireframe layout for a wing style design. Now, while I'm working with wings, there's much more I can do than just wings, and we'll see that throughout this training series. We can create some really incredible design effects very easily and very quickly, and then change those looks and present different fashion style looks to our clients very easily. I'm just going to go ahead and select all these. I'll hold down Shift, left click here, 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 and here. Then I can go back to my artistic media docker, click on that feather. That'll process that. I'll go ahead and close the docker. And you can see now I've got all of these feathers spread out across those arches with my Bezier tool. Or I could work with something like my pen tool, which now I've got my Guinness pen tablet here, and I can start to draw my feather shape by hand. Now, if you don't have a pen tablet, don't worry about it. You can still do a lot of really cool stuff. But if you want a pen tablet, you can pick one up. I've got a Guinness pen sketch I picked up on um, Amazon.com for about $50. Now, everybody likes to use Wacom's. I don't have any problem with Wacom's. I just prefer the Guinness. Then I can bring my feathers on my brushes and just tuck them right into each other here and start to create my feather design. Now, we can see the benefit of how fast I can work creating designs like this, working out of these brushes and Corel and why it's very important that as graphic designers, especially in apparel business, because all of these looks and effects are so popular in the market, that we want to be able to work with brushes, that we want to have an inventory of brushes, and that we want to be able to design with brushes because you're going to see in this training series that I can take my brushes and create really off-the-wall designs, looks, and effects very easily. For instance, I can take a design like this Bulldogs here. Now I've got some brushes here. I went in with some black feathers and then some other brushes here, a barbed wire effect, etc., and created that look. And then I came down here and I changed it using the same elements from barbed wire to thorns a different wing and a different effect. So what I can do is I can very quickly and very easily create these looks and effects and designs customized around my clip art, for instance, or my designs. For instance, this was a standard layout here. I needed some feathers to go in the background, but I really wanted feathers that fit my design. I didn't want static clip art. And I wanted to create something custom. I didn't want to work with something that was out of a can, so I used my brushes to do that. And I created this feather look and added these effects to the design. Now, Kids in the high schools go crazy when they see this stuff because they love the things like barbed wire, the affliction t-shirt look, the MMA, mixed martial arts fighting t-shirt look, things like that. And these are all very easy to create working with brushes in Corel Draw. So we'll get into all of this in this series. Now the other thing we can do very easily and very quickly, that's the same design there. I want to take a look here, see what we got here. Here's a Wildcats football. All I did was just add a halftone abstract brush effect to it and now I've got an entirely different look going on with this design going to look much nicer on a t-shirt, much more artistic. It's going to get a lot more attention. And that's that one there. Let's see if we can get to... Same thing here. Took a standard baseball design, just added some thorns to it. 
And same thing here, Bulldogs added some thorns and then did some Fashion Factory effects, created a really off the wall look in the background with some Fashion Factory monochrome and the thorns. Once again, going with the kind of stuff that's really popular, the mixed martial arts look, things like that, and then adding in some of the other design effects. Even things as simple as working with client-supplied logo files, you can go from a standard logo to a look something like this here very easily and very quickly. A, a watercolor splash, what we call destroyed watercolor brushes that are in the brush pack, just streak those in really quick. you got a totally different look going on in the design. You can see that some of the same down here with the Mountain Dew. We added some of the halftone abstract brushes and things like that, and we get entirely different looks with our designs. So we're able to upgrade logo designs and upsell logo designs to our clients. I mean, if this is my logo, even though it's Mountain Dew, and I go into your shop and you say, hey, you know, here's your, here's your logo on a t-shirt, here's what you asked for, but hey, we just tossed this together with some brushes for you in about two, three minutes. Here's a couple different looks. Which one do you like better? And, Eight times, nine times out of ten, you're going to be able to upgrade them to another color or two and then a color t-shirt because they like what they're seeing a lot better. Your clients really don't have any idea as to what their options are with design. And it's our job to have the brushes and the tools and all of the media assets and understand how our user applications to be able to present to them the options that are going to give them better designs than our t-shirts. Ultimately, they're going to be happier and we're going to make more money. So that's what brushes are and we'll continue in our series, Secrets of Brushes with Corel Draw.